All right, liberals attacking First Lady Melania Trump for doing this. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. All right, the prayer was well received by the thousands at President Donald Trump's Florida rally, and I, I think by God as well, this weekend, but liberals immediately took to Twitter. They wanted to trash her. What is the problem with praying? Here to weigh in is Fox News contributor Taya Kyle. Taya, good, Taya, good morning to you. Hey, Taya. Hey, good morning. You know, when I heard that uh, she started with the prayer, I thought, now that's a new way to do it. How nice is that? But then, you know, people on the political left... Um, you know, they started attacking her for doing this. What do you make of it? Well, Steve, I'm with you. I mean, I find it comforting. I think a lot of people are comforted by religion, and I think a lot of people miss having God involved in important decisions. But the attacks, I think, are, are unfounded, and I think people don't understand what was meant originally by separation of state and church. It was meant to protect the churches from government influence. It was meant to protect the people from having a government force a religion down their throat or compel them to believe something their conscience was not allowing for. So really, she didn't violate anything legally, and she spoke her mind and her heart. I think that's beautiful, and right. I wish more people in government would, would speak their mind and their heart, and, and that's for any religion that they have. I'd like to know who, who's leading and what religion they're leading with. Some were critical because she had to read it. Would you be, are you critical? No, I'm not critical of it. I mean, I think that we can criticize people for all sorts of things without remembering that they're a human being in front of a large audience. Right. It's intimidating if people haven't done it before. And if she wants to read a prayer so she doesn't mess it up, then, you know, God bless her. Sure. You know, you know what? Exactly. Because if she had gotten it wrong, if she had missed a word, then they're critical of that. Chris tweeted and said, Melania had to read the Lord's Prayer off of a piece of paper. How very Christian of her. I roll emojis. Shouldn't it be as easy as one, two, three? What is your message for this judgmental individual? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like people need to put themselves in somebody else's shoes, and it's so easy to criticize until you're there in front of the group of people. I saw a, a World War II veteran who was singing the national anthem, and he was reading off a of note cards while he sang, and you know what? Bless his heart. It doesn't mean he was any less of a service right. member or any less of a patriot. What it meant was he had a huge crowd of people, and he didn't want to mess up. All right, I, I, I think we can... I want to add this yeah. into the fray. Every time the, our, the priest in my church blesses the gifts, he's reading off the book every right. single day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah, he's got to look down. He's got the little bookmark in okay. there. Oh, actually, big bookmark. Opens it up and reads the whole thing. You know what, though? I'm reminded of this, too, as a Christian. Like, those are the people we have to pray for because obviously they don't know the love of God. So it's really kind of sad when they write tweets like this and are judgmental of someone is. reading the Lord's Prayer. She knows like 10 languages, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. And smart. how many right. times did the national anthem on television and a professional singer is reading along with a teleprompter because you hate to get it wrong. I get that. But uh, Taya, don't you think that the political left and the haters are just going to hate regardless of what she <laughs> Taylor is going to do said anyway? That. Right. She sings about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that any time you're going to be in the public eye in any way, as you all well know, you have to accept that, that you're making yourself uh, open and vulnerable to criticism. And we have to be strong enough and have a thick skin and understand that there will be people who need an outlet for their hate. And they might use us and they might use somebody else, but we have to, to still stay strong in what we believe and not be intimidated by their hate because yeah. that means that, that, that hate wins and we don't want that. Yeah, I got, a, I got a text message from a friend of mine who said that is someone that my daughters and my nieces can look up to is a first lady that prays. Right, right. I agree. It's nice. It's Thank you, It gave me chills just hearing her say it today on the news. So. All right. Taya, right. thank you very much for joining us today from down in Texas.